Hello guys, hope you're, hope you're having a good day. I was watching it, um, when I upload this video, I'm pretty sure it's going to be at night. Um, yes, pretty late video, I'm sorry about that, but, um, we we'll have to reset the map, but. What today's video is going to be is, um, again, another election prediction. But before that, um, please, just please comment, um, like, comment, subscribe. Please, um, yeah, share, share my videos to anyone that you know. Um, it means a lot to me because, well, that means my channel can grow. Um, and I actually have people watching it, you know. Without you, the viewer, I couldn't be growing this much, so. But yeah, this video will be a, an election prediction between um, Senator Chris Murphy from Connecticut against the president, um, Donald Trump. And by the way, I am working on an, uh, an election that hopefully will go up um, uh, tomorrow or today, depending on what time you're watching it. I mean, that video might have already been uploaded by the time you're watching this, but um, Chris Murphy, as we know, is um, one of the is the um, is one of these senators from Connecticut. Um, pretty young. Um, I don't know. His, I I can't recall his exact age. Um, but pretty young. Um, more of a moderate Democrat. Um, uh, but of course, um, I believe I personally believe that Trump and a lot of um, these states would perceive him as a liberal, especially him being from a state like Connecticut that. Um, has rarely elected um, Republicans to statewide office, which is why I believe Georgia will be um, safe, along with Iowa and Arizona, actually, because I don't believe Chris Murphy will do well. Um, surprisingly, I don't think he'll do well with the African American vote. We don't, with, um, yeah, because we haven't really seen anything um, to have to do with the Af um, that we haven't seen anything. Um, come out from him that um, could appeal to those voters. Um, he could, I do think he'll do um, inroads, or not inroads, but do a bit better with the non educated vote. But that'll be a big part of the Trump coalition. Um, which is again, again, his issue with African Americans will give Trump the state of North Carolina. Um, though that won't affect the state of Virginia again. Virginia is by the minute, um, by the day, turning more democratic. Um, um, but but on the other hand, Ohio, I think is gonna go red because I don't believe Chris Murphy will do well enough um, in bring out the vote in the state. Again, Trump is doing very well in the with the suburban vote in many of these toss-up states in the Rust Belt with the white evangelical born again Christians with the non-educated vote. And the youth though, actually, he's doing somewhat better. And voter depression, suppression from African Americans also, um, turns out, um, gave Trump his victory in 2016. Um, which is, um, and again, Minnesota also is trending Republican, but I don't believe it'll go red this election cycle. Maybe we could see it go red as early as 2024, maybe 2028, but not this election. Um, and... Again, Colorado also is turning an, into another um, leaning Democratic state. We'll give that to Chris Murphy. Uh, and for the sake, for the, we'll give Chris Murphy again the benefit of the doubt in the state of Maine. We'll give him um, the state of Maine. Um, he'll win the state of Maine again, losing that one congressional district in the Northeast because Trump has a major um, against coalition with the. Elder, elderly vote, um, just doing well with many um, uh, um, rural voted rural, rural areas. Um, again, that state, um, that district has um, um, never split split this, its electoral uh, votes before, except for um, actually never. They've never split the electoral votes, which is um, why I'm also going to say I think the. Um, the president is going to do well in Southern New Hampshire, which is why I'm actually going to say the president will win New Hampshire. Again, for many reasons, again, he'll do well with the youth vote. Again, we have the University of New Hampshire down there. Um, they, the core, they call it. Um, yeah, and he'll do well in the northern part, the more 
um, rural area, um, areas of New Hampshire. Though again, Michigan, the state, the last state to be called in the 20, in the presidential election in 2016, again was only won by a short margin, which I believe will go back to Chris Murphy. Uh, but again, as I, I've, as I've said, the elderly, there's a huge elderly vote um, population. I believe about 30 percent. And a huge minority population that actually does um, favor overly than average um, to uh, minorities to the Republicans in the state of Florida. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry about that, but um, he does well with Cuban Americans. He does well with Latino voters, which will help him win um, this state. And as you see here, again, um, the president currently does have 264. To Chris Murphy's 238, um, but if you do take a look, he only needs one state. He could do it with the state of Nevada, while Chris Murphy does need to win all these states. And so, um, when you make the case for um, the president in Wisconsin, he does well with um, he does well um, with union voters. Same thing with Pennsylvania. Nevada, holds, he does ex, ex, um, extraordinarily well excuse me, in rural areas like Eli, um, Carson City, etc. He could even win with Show County in one of these scenarios. Um, and again, Pennsylvania, he does well in the center of the country. In the center of the country. Um, the center of the state, and more in um, uh, more um, conservative people. Again, Especially in that district, um, that 18th congressional district that just voted for Connor Lamb. So, um, starting off, he doesn't even need Pennsylvania. He doesn't need Wisconsin. He will win, in my opinion, in the state of Nevada. Um, uh, I actually do think Chris Murphy um, could easily win this, but giving Trump the benefit of the doubt and the polls that, um, despite um, showing. Trump wrong. They actually showed Trump wrong in the state of Nevada in 2016. I believe Trump will win the state of Nevada again. Doing well with suburban voters. Doing well in rural areas because the Democrat just needs to run up the score in, um, in Clark County, excuse me. And I believe Trump can make inroads with those voters in more ex-urban areas. More north, more, the more northern part of Clark County. Um, and I, I believe also he will win the state of Wisconsin because I don't believe um, that Chris Murphy will do um, well with unions. He'll do well with um, the youth vote in the state, but um, I believe Trump will um, do something like what he did in 2016. Um, but just being... Um, um, just being nice to well if we take a look um um and state Pennsylvania we're actually gonna give that to President Trump because I believe that, um well, he's again going to do well in state in counties like Erie County do well in the center part of the state heck he could even win Bucks County which um I saw a video on it hasn't even gone blue since 1980 it's 1992 so Again, he'll do well in the Philly suburbs along the New Jersey coast, and this is my prediction. President Trump at 300 electoral votes exactly, Chris Murphy to 238 electoral votes. Again, as I said at the start of the video, I hope you do please subscribe, please like, comment down any questions for my Q&A, and please share this um, channel with anyone, because thanks to you, I get to keep growing on YouTube. You Help me and keep um, giving me the motivation to keep doing these videos that I hope that you do enjoy. And again, if you do see any errors or any suggestions for me, I'm always open to suggestions or any ideas because I want my channel to grow and I want you, the, the viewer, to enjoy my videos. So, yeah, don't be shy to ask any questions or ask why you believe in certain states. So, yeah, please do like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.